So after hard charging into the Guatemala and spending a day hiking around to call, to be honest with you, we were worn out, but more than that, we just had a lot of things we needed to figure out. And I don't even know how many days we were at El Muye, but El Muye, and you guys can correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrongly, but translate as the pier. So it was this nice little hotel slash restaurant place where we could car park right on the lake. Now it only parked a couple vehicles, but it was perfect for us. We were able to plug in and do everything we needed to do. And to be honest, we barely pulled out a camera. We didn't really vlog and uh, didn't do a lot, but I think that's just because we needed to rest a little bit and we needed to figure out what our strategy is for Guatemala. So today we want to share a few things that we've kind of learned about Guatemala and sort of our strategy going into this journey. The food is more expensive. Everything's more expensive. Everything costs more in Guatemala than it did in Mexico, except for the fuel, which we probably have already told you guys that, but we were hoping it was just because we were in touristy areas, but it is looking like that the food is just going to cost more here. That's in the grocery stores and at the restaurants. Another thing we're starting to notice is a lot of these places have armed guards in the front. So it's not just policia and military here. There seems to be private security forces. Um, they guard certain businesses. So that's a new thing about Guatemala. So along the lines of everything's a bit more expensive, I'll give you an example. So in Mexico, we would pay about 12 to 18 pesos for a garrafon of water, for five gallons of water, which, let me, let me concentrate on this area. everything by 20. Nice round numbers. Here, a 
Quetzale is eight. No. Eight Quetzals is Quetzale. Is a dollar. No. Yeah. So it's not as round number. You have to do the math a little, a little quicker in your head. And it's, it's not as round numbers. Plus, their one hundred dollar Quetzale, their one hundred Quetzale bill. We'll show it to you right here. It's very deceiving. On one side it says 100, 100, 100. All around looks just like 100. On the other side, or it is weevil wobbling because there's people trying to pass us. But on the other side, there is a Mayan symbol that looks just like a 10. So we do think that there may have been a couple of times that instead of giving somebody a 10, we gave them a 100. But we have learned that lesson. Right, Kurt? Yeah. So another thing we had to do is we had to figure out where the heck we were going to go. Now, Snow has done a wonderful job going out there and figuring out what some of the sort of big things to do are, where they are. She's put them all in a Google Map. So we have an idea. We have this big list of stuff that we'd like to do, but we needed to investigate it a bit more and also find out if we were actually going to be able to get to these places. And if you guys remember about six weeks ago, there was a, or maybe even two months, I don't, there was a big hurricane that came through Guatemala and, and flooded the area and caused a lot of damage. And so we've heard rumors that there's places you can't go. And some of the roads, just quite honestly, are just like dirt paths and things like that. So we just had to do some reconnaissance, figure out what things we wanted to do. You guys probably know the clock's ticking on us. We only have 90 days to make it to Costa Rica before our visa for these four countries expires. So there was a lot of things to consider in trying to figure out where we're gonna go, what things are super important for us to do, and how we're gonna get there. So that was another reason why we were just kinda hanging out, was just to figure out what we're gonna do. But do not worry, we have a plan. And we have the next month mapped out to a T within a day or so here and there of places we're gonna go, roads we're gonna take, places we're gonna camp, and the big things we're gonna do. But of course, there is no doubt we will stumble up on cool stuff along the way. So our plan is not carved in stone, but we are way more organized than we were four days ago. Coming down the home stretch and look who took the wheel. Kurt even took a nap. He doesn't know that I filmed that though. Oh, I saw it. <laughs> so, we are almost to our campsite. We've been on a nice paved road the whole way. A few bumps, but nothing bad. We're on a little dirt road now, and I think we're, I think I see it. I think we're really almost there. The guy at the front gate said go to the restaurant for camping reservation. So Kurt is heading up there to scope it out. It is raining. So when we came through the gate, you know it was raining. We were talking to the kid. He was standing in the rain so we didn't get to film it. But hopefully he's there when we leave. There's a McCall. Like sitting right there hanging out at the gate. Just like he's a pet which is crazy. So we'll see if we can film that on the way out. Hopefully Kurt gets us a camping spot because I'm tired of driving for the day and it's rainy weather going through the mountains. It's beautiful. The mountains are beautiful. So let's see what we can figure out. All right guys, so we made it to our spot. Unfortunately, we've just had a lot of rain and uh, you know, obviously rain is good, but always good for good for getting out and exploring but this place is very tropical as you can see there's all sorts of little air plants and eophytes neophytes whatever they are the little plants that live on the trees uh, they're pretty cool and there's lots of flowers there's supposed to be some macaws here some of those big red scarlet macaws and then also they have two cans here as well I'm not overly optimistic that we're gonna get some with the gray clouds. Um, this is a one night stopping point only, but it's still just kind of a nice little place out in the nature. And it did stop uh, raining long enough where I can get out and explore a little bit. I don't expect back to see much, but I'll bring you guys along. Toucan, 
just landed in that tree. I gotta go get the big camera. It's on guys, it's on with the two. Sometimes things just aren't meant to be. I ran back to get to the camera, snow grabbed it out for me, had it ready by the time I got back to the van. I ran over there, pulled the camera out, popped the lens cap cover off, had him in the sight before I could even push play. It started raining again. But he was still pretty cool. Why are you crying? Why are you talking to me? Huh? He's hungry. So it's early in the morning. It's still raining. But the birds are starting to wake up. Kurt's already walked up to this little restaurant. I'm going to head up there now. He says they have cinnamon rolls. So let's go see. So it's not really raining that hard. But I wanted to film this little walk up there for you guys. So I had to pull out the umbrella. I'm thinking this house right over here. It's in between the restaurant and the camping area. It's probably the owners or the caretakers. It's not a far walk at all. Maybe a football field and a half to the restaurant. It's pretty here. You got a playground for kids. Cabanas. Nice little place. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Kitties really love this place. Snow just got out of the shower. She's drying her hair. But the kitties love this place. They got an amazing walk yesterday. <laughs> but we haven't showed you this place yet, so I wanted to take you around in a mini tour. And so our bathrooms are right here. And they have these cool little uh, like treehouse cabana sort of. Some of them have hammocks out in front. I haven't seen the inside of them. But uh, there's warm showers and bathrooms right there. It's uh, $10 a night, it's $5 US a person, it's 40 Quetzales. And uh, to be honest with you, there's just been a lot of rain and mist and fog. And I think that's part of 
kind of the time of the year, but also we've kind of been in a, a rough weather pattern, if you will. But this place is pretty cool. Now, like a lot of other places, this has been hit really hard by the COVID. And so they were shut down. Look at this tree with the cactuses twixing around the air plants and the orchids and all that other stuff. But it's a really damp, moist area, like a jungly place. And so they had to shut down due to the COVID. And I was talking to the owner yesterday and she said in the, in the, just in the few months they were shut down that the jungle overgrowth just absolutely took over. So they've been trying to catch up with that. And uh, there are a few people coming through here, but not a lot. There's a little restaurant up there I'll show you. And there's some nature trails and there's all these gorgeous tropical plants and flowers. And there's this little stream that goes along here. And there's a couple lakes and a couple other little uh, bodies of water. So it's nice to walk around. I don't know how, but the mosquitoes aren't bad here at all. It has been getting a bit cool in the evenings, maybe down around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll kind of go back here and show you guys what this is like. But it's been a good place to stay, but we really haven't been able to enjoy it just because of the rain and water. In fact, this is the first time I'm really gonna get to show you. We did see a toucan. I did catch a toucan uh, flying in the other night, but it started raining. So I, by the time I got the big camera out, I couldn't get them. But you can see there's a little stream here. And uh, it's just a really cool place. It's been a good place for us to hang out, but it's time for us to move on. And so we're gonna head down south to a little town called Rio Dulce and there's a little pirate fort down there and so we're excited to see that and uh, hopefully this weather will clear up it's been kind of really tough to show you guys what we've been doing with the weather but we're going to do the best we can before I leave you I'm going to show you some of the rest of this resort now keep in mind some of this place is a little uh run down and overgrown but just imagine when this place is wide open and full of business. I think it would be a, a really nice place for you to come visit. So back in here, this was an old bar. <laughs> the drip of water fell on the camera. But this is an old bar. And you can see it's kind of, again, run down a little bit. Most mostly due to the COVID, but look at this place. It'd be a great place to have a little event. There's some dart boards back here, a bar here, all these nice natural tables. And then right outside you have this nice little pond. You've got some palapas. The lounge chairs almost fell. You've got the palapas in the lounge chairs. Some little banos over there. Look at this place. Now I stopped out here the other day and they got these cool little fish in here. So look at them. They got spots on top of them. A floating dock out there. And then look at this little slide right here. So the owners bought this place. They're from California in the US. They bought this place in 1969. They said there was just a little wooden house on it. I met uh, the lady who owns it and her daughter. They've been here and kind of built this place out ever since. I believe the husband has since passed, unfortunately. But uh, the people here are just super nice. The staff is very friendly. The cinnamon rolls and coffee are absolutely delicious. You guys may not know this, but Guatemala is famous for their coffee. And I'm sure we're gonna give you an up close look at the actual uh, coffee plantations. We'll probably do a coffee tour before it's all said and done. But what a cool place. I really wish the weather would have been better at this camp. It's beautiful here and the birds, but 
Everything is a muddy mess. And it just keeps drizzling and raining. No signs of it tying, uh, drying out. So, gonna hit the road. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when we put out new videos. To see behind the scenes action and help support our journey, head over to our YouTube membership page. You can find the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in a few days.